What's up, everybody? Just thought I'd jump on. Random. Let me just live stream while I'm running. In 88 degree weather. In Dallas, Texas. Why? Because that's what my brain decided was a good idea. I've been practicing my breathing so that when I'm running, my cardio and breathing is more calm. Because when I'm singing on stage, it helps me be able to keep my tone and not sound like the out of breath singer. But please believe your girl is moving. I just thought I would hop on and talk to you guys, take you on my run. I enjoyed talking to you guys last night if you were on the live stream. We were talking about uh, faith, one of my favorite words. And it was funny, because in my dream last night, I started a group, a private Facebook group, and it was challenging people to do things that required them to step out on faith in the next 48 hours. So I'm wondering if I should act on what my dream told me. It was really cool. People were getting help because they were doing the challenge and it was just a faith group. It was based on going for that thing that you've been wanting and taking that step up, that leap into the unknown when you're scared, doing it anyway. What's up, CC? So, I don't know, maybe I'll make that happen. Like I said, it came to me in my dream. Come on, we almost there. We doing good. Let's get it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so, we always waited too late to go running, but we gotta get it done. Yes, do it scared, it's so true. So yesterday, if you weren't on the stream, I was at my parents' house and we were talking about faith. And my dad said something I really liked. He said, faith is believing in, you know, things that you hope for. He said, baby girl, that's your future. He said, you gotta hope for something. You gotta believe in something that you can't even see yet. You gotta hope for and believe in something even though your life says that you don't get that. You're not the person to live there. You're not the person to dress like that. Sometimes our environment will tell us, you don't think, you ain't, you don't belong there. But faith is stepping out into that new environment as if you were born there. That's faith. Faith is acting as if you have something that you don't even know how you're gonna get it. But acting like the millionaire now. Act like the millionaire now. That six figure stuff is old to me. It's old. It's not a push for me. Million dollars is the push because six figure is achievable. Time, 10 minutes, one second. Distance, one. We hit a mile. mile. Average pace, 10, zero, one per mile. So, so literally, that was one. Oh my Jesus, it's hot. So literally, acting like the million dollars is what you look at every morning, even though you don't see it. So acting like the marathon runner, even if you only can do 0.25 meters. Acting like an amazing swimmer, even if you can't swim. Because what you believe, your actions align with. I will preach this until the day I die. What you believe, your actions align with. So if you believe you're not good enough, you aren't. But if you believe you can, then you can. And that's just fact. Straight up fact. So listen, I ask you guys this morning, what do you believe? Every day, check your beliefs. Every hour, 
check your beliefs because your belief in whatever it is it literally drives you it dictates what you do and you don't even recognize how powerful that is so i love the conversation that we had last night about faith because you gotta have hope you gotta have hope you gotta believe in yourself can't and it, can't feel it, but you gotta believe it. Yep. It's there, it's real. And like my daddy told you guys last night, somebody gonna try to steal your dreams, steal your faith. They're gonna try to stomp on your faith. Some people literally try to step on your faith. They try to put a, a sheet over your light. And you gotta shine on anyway, baby. You gotta shine on. Shine I'm real shiny now. on. I'm real dark and shiny now. You messing up my song. Oh, that's Shit. He messing up my song. I was about to go to church. He tell me he dark and shiny. <laughs> but listen, you gotta let it shine, like the song say. And I ain't letting my little light shine. This big light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this big light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine This big light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Y'all Let it shine y'all Your words have so much power aligned with your beliefs Exactly Angie Exactly exactly So I hope you guys caught the live stream If not Check it out on my Facebook. It was the last video that I posted. It was about faith. So powerful to me because I realized that my results in my life that I see today are all because I act on faith. I did it before I knew how it was going to turn out. I did everything before I knew how it was going to turn out. Everything. The move. Several moves. <laughs> I did it before I knew how it was going to turn out. Guys, that's the, when the magic happens. Some of y'all want to be so calculated, but you're looking out going, I want to do this and I want to do that. You got to make a move before you know the how. Make your move before you know the how. Make your move before you know the how. It sounds crazy, but your body is a freaking genius. Your mind is a freaking genius. It'll catch up. Make your move before you know the how. Have faith. Have faith. Unstoppable faith. They may try to put you down. You may fall. You may scratch yourself up. You may break a limb or two or three. Keep going. You may not look like what they say the person's supposed to look like in order to be in that spot. But keep going. It don't matter. You may feel like you can't find the information. Keep searching. It will appear. I'm going to say that again. You may feel like you don't know what you need to know. But keep searching. It will appear. There's a lesson that you haven't gotten. So it requires you to feel like you're going in circles until you get that lesson. And when you get that lesson, you're going to look around and see all the different things that we're telling you. The very answers you were looking for. I'm just saying. Lisa says, Lakeisha signed up for the boot camp. Super excited. Hey, Lisa. I'm super excited. Did you just sign up or you're already in the group? I gotta make sure we get you taken care of. Listen, people, get uncomfortable. This right here, running, ain't comfortable. So what you say, Tom? No, not, not for me. It's not comfortable for me, but I gotta do it anyway because I love the results. And I know that this run is preparing me for a bigger run for my life. So that I can serve more people, I gotta be in the best health. In order to serve more people, in order to serve my family, better, bigger. See me? I'm right here. I ain't going nowhere, I'm right here. We got people cheering us on. We've been running past yeah. couple mornings. The top said they cheering him on. Kick him up, Let's get it. Anywho, people. I'm about to go. My phone gonna die. Love you guys. Make sure you're following, subscribing. I got some mini classes coming to you guys. Just some short, fun stuff. Just teaching you. 
teaching you everything that I know. Giving you my heart, because I love you. I believe in you. I share my parents with you guys. Hopefully last night you saw, I got it honestly. My daddy kept saying, tell everybody I love them. Well, that's the old country man right there. Because that's how we grow up. No matter who you are, where you are, what your ethnicity is, what your belief is, we love you anyway. That's it. And I don't know if you guys heard last night when I said we all win, we all eat good. And I said, Daddy, what if everybody showed up to your house right now? He was like, hey, let's get some groceries. He was like, let's feed the people. That's true. That is true servant spirit, guys. That's true. That's true Christianity. Some of y'all be so doggone religious. Can't sit with that person for that reason or this reason. We don't roll like that. Jesus didn't roll like that. Jesus rolled with everybody. He was in the streets. Some of y'all looking at how to build your business. Jesus was the CEO. He was in them streets, going from city to city, sitting down, teaching people parables so that they can change their lives. Healing, feeding. Feeding. Healing them, feeding. feeding them, teaching. teaching them. That's what it's about. That's Christianity to me. And at the end of the day, I feel like all religions believe that same value. Whatever the leader is in your religion, they was doing the same thing. So at the end of the day, we should be able to agree that the core things that your life should be about is healing, helping, serving. That's what it's about. That's what it's about, people. That's what it's about. Jesus is the ultimate CEO, straight up. They got a book called Jesus the CEO. And it just talked about how he operated. It's a really cool perspective. And I ain't Jesus, don't get it twisted. I will snap and go off. I don't got Jesus' patience just yet. I'm working on it. Woo! In the meantime, I thought I would just go live and say hey to you guys. <laughs> that was all. I gotta go now. That was a long day. <laughs>